Not difficult questions, eh? <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Past year has been a lot of things. Um, insane, chaotic, mind-boggling, confusing, a huge challenge. I'm okay. I'm still here. I'm standing. I'm proud to be here. It has been a tough year. Teamwork, uh, togetherness and focus. It's been tough but also empowering because we've learned a lot. Every day I actually go to work trying to see if I can make a difference for someone. You have to have love. You have to, you know, you have to take someone as, as your own sister. You know, your, 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 your relative. You have to have love about the patient. Like You have to love your patients and love what you're doing and I'm positive because we learn a lot, especially with the second wife, and um, I think if we're going to eat something like that again, we are well prepared for it. No, I feel quite confident. I mean, this past year we've learned a lot. Um, we have had to adapt quite a bit, and we've proven ourselves. We need to be caring, compassionate, and the only way to do that is if we all have the same focus and the same goal that we want to achieve and strive to. Just to say you are there for them and being supportive, to be a ear for the one who's saying, yo, yesterday was tough or I couldn't sleep last night because this one family was the whole time in my thoughts or so on. So just to be there for each other. It's like a little gift. <laughs> like it's, re it's just, yeah, it's amazing. It feels... You know you can't do it alone, but just the fact that you've been part of that and you've been able to kind of get a patient better, get them off the vent, see them home or see them come visit, you know, two months later, it's just, you're kind of reminded that, okay, we are still doing good and we are still able to help. What I love about my job is to bring life again, um, to be able to spread love.